All right, so here we are in the Texas Biomes kit. Uh, this is for uh, UE 5.2. And we're going to talk about, basically talk about disappearing trees, right? So this rendered fine. And basically what I did is I put as much as I could in here. And there is a way to recreate this issue, even especially at render time. You know, if you plan on rendering uh, one of these scenes and you just, keep having the <clears throat> tree disappearing issue. We're going to take a look at like why that happens. All right, everyone. So here we are in a blank scene now, and this is the quick and easy way to avoid having trees disappear whenever you render your final scene. And if you tried everything, you know, you've tried, um, setting the game overrides and you've tried all this other stuff that everyone has talked about in forums. I mean, if you looked at everything and you just don't know what is going on and why, this might be the issue. So just make sure you check your blueprints and how they are connected because you'll do get you'll get an error log after you try to render in 4K, 6K, K, okay, whatever you decide to render in. So we're going to take an example of what to do and what not to do. So we're going to go with this post of tree. We're going to go with this model and we're going to drag and drop this thing out. And right now this is just a mesh, right? That's connected all together. So we're going to hold alt and then drag to duplicate E and then we're going to rotate and then we're going to hit R to scale something like that and then we're going to drag both of these we're going to grab both of these and alt again and we're going to duplicate e and then we're going to rotate a few times maybe scale this one down a little bit then we're going to maybe scale this one up really big and we'll put this down so we're just going to create something random, like a little patch of trees, right? We're going to select all these trees. And for all the post oak trees, we just want to go to here to the blueprints, this middle button here, and then we're going to convert selection to blueprint class. And what we want to do is harvest these components because it's right now it's just a uh, you know, it's just the geo for the actual um, trees. So that would be the first step. It's, you know, put it, name it whatever you feel like you want to name it, uh, combined, and then put it in a folder that makes sense, maybe like uh, blueprints, whatever. But we're just going to select that. <clears throat> here we go. We have it here. We can get out of here, and then now it's all combined into this new blueprint, right? So that's going to redefine. Everything's going to work out for you. You're going to hit Alt, and we're going to duplicate these trees. Move them back, maybe scale them up, and then we're going to rotate them a little bit, create something like this. And then say now we want this to be a new blueprint that we can drag and drop out but let's do it one more time just for the sake of the tutorial and let's just go and drag all these out and make more and then spin them around and make them smaller and bigger and all that kind of stuff so here we go now what happens when these start to disappear during render time whatever happens in that situation 
But if you decide to grab all these blueprints now, now we have all these together that we can move anywhere. And let's say we go back and we're like, okay, cool. Well, let's just go here and convert a selection to blueprint class. And then we go harvest components. Well, if you do that, what's going to happen is, is, you know, part of the trees are going to like disappear. There's going to be weird, some weird stuff going on during render time. So that's one thing you do want to check for and why you would get a log error. Like if you stopped your render because you saw the trees were disappearing, you had like a log error pop up, then you would see what was going on. So if you do want to do it this way, just select child actors and then select and then bam right here. You're ready to go. Now all of these are actually combined, but as child actors. And so now this blueprint is going to work out just fine, especially when you render. Everything is going to look amazing and just how you would hope it would look. If you just had that issue and you don't know why and you're wondering like what's going on, hopefully that helps you a little bit if you could just kind of dive into your scene and see if there's a reason why the, there, there might be an asset that was created a certain way. But yeah, that's basically the gist. I hope this helped you out a whole lot. And um, feel free to, to hit me up anytime with any questions or anything else. And uh, there's definitely going to be a lot more videos just of just having fun and creating scenes in the future. And if I run into anything else like this, I'll definitely put it out there. But I appreciate all y'all and have a wonderful uh, day, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.